Hello and welcome back to Accessible Globe TV, where today we ask the question, are businesses finally realizing the benefit of marketing in an inclusive manner? It seems to me that inclusivity might finally be getting through, or the benefits of inclusivity might finally be getting through to marketing companies. Just recently, we did a program on, uh, a, pr on a film, which was produced by two uh, studios and Apple. It was called CODA, which stood for Child of Deaf Adults. And guess what? They had real deaf actors playing the deaf characters. So real inclusivity. And guess what again? Not only was it a great success, but it won the best picture at the Oscars. So that was fantastic. Inclusivity at its finest. And even in board games, I discovered this week, uh, well, inclusivity is in the marketing side of it, is beginning to happen. I have a lot of board games. I'm a bit of a, a board game nut, collector and player. And I, I, got a program, I got a board game called Fog of Love, which is uh, about two people falling in love and, and doing some, building a romantic relationship. Now, there's your standard cover of Fog of Love, which is a man and a woman. I'll tell you a little bit about Fog of Love and what it says, how it works. It says, Fog of Love is a game of two players. You'll create two vivid characters who meet, fall in love, and face the challenge of making an unusual relationship work. Perhaps a police officer will date a criminal, or a farmer will date royalty. There's all kinds of possibilities in there, a load of fun, and a bit of a crazy game. Now, I bought the game, and uh, I got my box home, and I looked at it, and I thought, something's different. And I looked at it, and guess what? It wasn't a man and a woman. It was two women on the box. I thought, that's not what I saw it the first time I saw it. And I looked up on the internet and discovered that the uh, people who make the game have put the game out in a number of different boxes to be inclusive. Now, the game inside the box is exactly the same, but they are marketing to niche markets, to people, to make it appeal, and, of course, to make more money. So they have the standard um, uh, man-woman game. Uh, they have the women-to-woman. -woman. I'll get Carl on the, on the, on the buttons there. And the, they have the man-to-man. -man. And guess what else I discovered? Check out this. I've got a wheelchair man. So that's called their inclusive box. And it's meant to, I got so excited. I, if I could have, I would have jumped up and down. Seriously. Fog of Love, it's the same game, as I said, in every box. But people are starting to realize that they need to market in a way that appeals to people in different demographics. And it's the same. There's got to be a whole attitude change. And I think it's beginning to happen. For example, with a hotel. If a hotel makes two accessible rooms and the attitude over the years has been, we did this for people with disability, that is the wrong attitude. You do it to make more money for the hotel and you make it available to everyone so that people come and use the rooms. Now, if there's only two rooms, people with disabilities go, oh, I probably won't get a room anyway and there's not much variety and all that sort of thing and it still doesn't work properly. But if people become truly inclusive, like a hotel in Bangkok a few years ago that opened with 92 accessible rooms, there's a, a resort in uh, Tasmania we hope to be doing some coverage of shortly where the whole resort is completely accessible and all the different standards of rooms are accessible because usually you can just get the disabled room, no upgrades or anything like that. Anyway, it's beginning to change and I'm really, really excited about that. So if you want to buy a board game, Fog of Love, buy it with whichever box suits you. Reward them for marketing in an inclusive manner. Let's have a look at the people who've helped us with our situation. Hello World Travel in Harvey Bay, Totally Mobile, who do scooter sales and scooter rental and so on. Simple solutions, all sorts of NDIS training and NDIS services. Brilliant people. I owe mine, of course, the National Disability Insurance Scheme of Australia. It's government funded, but it helps me with my life and helps me make programs like this as well. Please subscribe. We need you. It's been a quick one today. We'll be back in a few days with another program. 
Thank you for being inclusive, everyone, and we hope to see you again soon on Accessible Globe TV.